Hello and welcome to another Gwyns and the Loose video. Today we're going to be climbing the new volcano in Iceland. We're not going to be using the official path. Our guide is brilliant. She's going to be taking us on the unofficial path so we can get even closer to the eruption. She maximise our chance of seeing the lava. Should be good. Obviously I'm going to take you with me and show you exactly what it's like. So let's go. Well, a volcano in southwest Iceland has erupted, releasing streams of lava from under the Earth's surface. 40 kilometers south of the capital Reykjavik, lava began spewing from the ground on Friday evening and a no-fly zone has been established in the area. Sightseers have been flocking to a spectacular volcanic eruption in Iceland, but hikers trying for the perfect selfie are being warned not to get too close. Lava bubbles, spits and pours out of the crater of this volcano. It's unclear for how much longer this volcano will continue to erupt. So we're now currently walking up the first stage of the original path. This path got cut off by the lava in May. So we're now just coming up to the official warning sign telling us not to go down this path. Obviously we're going to ignore them for maximum epicness. But so far so good, it's been nice and flat. So I'm not very out of breath yet. We're about to go downhill slightly, which only means we'll have to go up further. So all the way up there, I don't know if you can see it, you've seen our first hints of black lava, that is lava that's set. We are going to go all the way up to that, and a lot further than that, I thought to let you know that we've had our first sighting. So we're now beginning our first big ascent, we're probably gaining about 50 to 100 metres on this, and it's not too steep, which is good. I might slightly take back what I said about it not being too steep. It is actually quite steep, but we're nearly at the top of this first ridge. So we're now almost there at what seems to be the, the river of dried lava. This is where the, the lava river was running, but there might be some lava here. But we just have to find out. So that's where the original path has been blocked by lava. This is uh, set lava now, I think. It's probably running lava underneath that though. This earthy bank here has been constructed by the Icelandic government to stop that lava throw from coming through here. It's quite high up and it seems to have done the job. It's still the lava flow away from that massive open plain which This bit is really steep. I hope it's the steepest bit. It's uh, quite a sharp zigzag, but it should get better. Now I've had a closer look at the lava. Very kind gentleman lent me his binoculars and uh, we saw a few spots of orange. Can't get them on the camera though. I'll try, try again now.
Um, we nearly overran, as you can see. So we're now no longer going on a path. This is just uh, just so happens to have been cleared by a tractor. Um, we're going nearer, nearer to the main cone now. We can see steam over the valley, which probably means there's lava there. So uh, having fun, we're nearly at the top. trickiest part of the whole climb. The lava cone is almost ahead of us and uh, as you can see the, uh, the lava field in front of us it's a lot warmer than the one down there which probably means we're going to see some lava. We're going through a cloud of gas um, it's a little bit more difficult to breathe now. There's absolutely no path now we are simply just climbing along the really steep rock face next to uh, this big patch of lava and it looks dry but just only a few inches underneath that is boiling hot lava so um, you don't want that. Now over there in the distance, I think we can see the main cone, so uh, we're going to get as close to that as we can. So we're now making our way right down to the active lava field. Don't let these uh, dry looks deceive you. There is lava just an inch on there. I'm currently climbing down a rather precarious cliff and quite frankly I probably shouldn't be filming while doing this. I should probably be using both hands but this is where the stick comes in handy. Oh, sugar. Exclusive premium footage. If you're disappointed by watching me not get killed in an eruption, you can watch me get killed by a cliff. Hoping that I'll go to jail for what I feel. So not 
So that was it. My trek up the world's newest volcano had come to an end, and it is one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen. But I'm not finished here. You can join me for the whole afternoon in the next video and explore the rest of what the Reckoners Peninsula has to offer. Thank you for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to follow the adventure.